Today I'm going to show you guys a unique way of implementing the new parallax scrolling features of Adobe Muse CC. I think this is really cool. There, there are definitely a number of ways to apply this, but essentially what we're looking at here is a set of several images where scrolling will move the mask of the images, sort of wiping from one image to another, but the images aren't moving. We are scrolling, and really it's kind, of a, it's kind of a trip to look at, but really all we're looking at is the images are staying still in their respective boxes, but the boxes are scrolling up or down. So let's close my example and head to Muse. I've made a couple of boxes here. I've started with a project that has three boxes, and I'm actually going to extend this beyond those boxes, so that way we have some extra scrolling space. That'll help you guys see what's going on here. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And what we want to do is we want to set an image fill for each box. So I'm going to go into the fill for the box. I'm going to click on the folder to choose my fill. So let's go to the beach. Let's grab this image for the first box. I'll select our second box here. I'll grab another image. And I'll go down to the third box and grab a third image. Now these are just regular old fills. This is a shape fill. I used a regular old rectangle. But now what we're going to do, and here's what's new in Muse CC, we're going to select one of these boxes. I'm going to start with the first one. We're going to go to Fill and then go to the new Scroll tab. Now the Scroll tab allows me to set motion at which the image will scroll. So is it going to scroll like normal? Is it going to scroll slower than normal? Is it going to scroll faster than normal? I'm going to turn on scroll motion, which it already is, and I'm going to make sure that the vertical and horizontal scroll motion is set to zero, which means it's not going to move. It's going to stay put. The box, however, the box is going to scroll. I haven't said anything about the box. The image fill within the box is what's not going to move. So we've got that at zero, zero. Let's double check to make sure each of these is set at zero, zero. Looks like that one's good. Looks like this one's good. You also want to make sure, if it doesn't seem to be allowing you to set the scroll motion, you want to make sure that the fitting for your image fill is set to tile. It will not allow you to apply scroll motion if it's set to scale to fill or scale to fit or original size. I don't know why. I'm not entirely sure why. But Adobe has made it exclusive to the tile fitting to be able to set that scroll speed. I've also got the position for each of these set to the center. Depending on the size of your image, depending on the shape of your image, you may want to change this. Your images may also be too small to even pull this off. I've got oversized images here to make sure that as the boxes move, I don't go outside of the picture to kill my illusion. So I'm going to close this. I'm also going to just select all real quick and remove the stroke around each of these boxes. I don't want, to, I don't want a little black border. So let's take a look at what this looks like. I now have three boxes, no real tricks up my sleeve. We just set the fill to a scroll speed of zero in all directions. Let's preview it and see what it looks like. There we have it. You could do this with many more images. You can do this with smaller boxes. The possibilities are pretty endless. You can put information in those boxes. It can get really cool and really crazy. So I'm curious, actually, if anyone puts something like this up, whether it's a web page or a YouTube video, please post a link in the comments. I would love to see what you guys do with this. And uh, please subscribe. I got more coming at you.